everybody. I'm uh, here at my house, Chateau Relaxo, with my buddy Chris Keys, my friend and colleague, right over here. All right, there we are, folks. There we are. So um, we're not doing videos. I, uh, I write this column, Last Call, and Chris and I were talking about one I wrote a while ago called Stop Playing Guitar. Yeah. Yeah. And, and essentially, uh, um, the point of it is, I think the best thing that I did for my guitar playing and my musicianship in general is to put down my guitar and start playing other instruments. So um, I, uh, I, I'm a multi-instrumentalist and it's, it's, it's helped me get a lot more work. Most of my work is with, with guitar, but I also do a lot of pedal steel work or mandolin or dobro or harmonica or or really yeah. I've never seen you play harmonica. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it it works itself in. Okay. It, I'm the master of none, but I do play a lot of instruments. And and the great thing about it what I've found is every everybody hits a plateau on their instrument because I think because we are so as humans we're so drawn to patterns, pattern recognition. Mm. It it there's no computer uh, that can recognize patterns as well as humans. Yeah, it's it's part of our I don't know something that's been uh, I guess through natural selection bred into us uh, because these this pattern recognition has helped us survive. Yeah, and that's who reproduces the survivors. Yeah, so you get a dopamine hit every time you you recognize a pattern, and it's kind of kind of addictive. But 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 the problem is with music. Because we start by learning patterns, chord patterns, scale patterns, yeah. riff patterns, playing becomes very much like you're just applying different different patterns and it gets kind of away from melodies. But when you when you pick up a new instrument, I think you start kind of looking for melodies. You know, as a, as a seasoned player, you jump right into kind of music rather more than Patterns. Yeah, I'm sure it's some. Uh, what you're saying is probably with muscle memory with yeah, the guitar. Totally, it, it Almost is reflexive than it is thought. Yeah, absolutely intentional. And and I think that's where that's where my playing is the worst when I'm just when I'm just not even present. I'm just kind of applying these patterns. But I find when you when you make yourself learn a different instrument, when you start over like a like like a beginner. Yeah. Um, it's you're very present. You're thinking about the notes. You're thinking about the tone. You're thinking about what your hands are doing, and then when you get back on on guitar, all that stuff transfers over. Like for instance, um, with pedal steel, blocking is really important mm -hmm. because E9 tuning is is a cacophony. If you just hit it open, we well, hit this open. You're, you've you've got basically a chord, but yeah. on a, on an E9 steel, you've got You've got, uh, you've got a, you know, flat seven, uh, a major seven. You've got all this, all these kind of cacophonous tones, you know, a one, two, a seven, and a flat seven all ringing, yeah, along with everything else, one, three, and a five, and and it gets, um, it, it's a cacophony unless you really work on your, your blocking. So. This time I spent really listening to my blocking or paying attention to it, where I jump back on guitar, I realized, God, I've got my blocking is so sloppy. You know, my, my, my you know, we're, we're always kind of, you know, palm blocking and muting and things like that. But plain steel made me so aware of how it affects the tone and, and, and made me aware of this sloppy overtone stuff. Uh, so it really helped me. It made, made me it might not even be something that anybody else recognizes yeah but just for myself it just makes me feel more present and more aware it's funny because i know that you're not you're not a sports guy but there's a lot of discussion about how the evolution of training has happened where back in the old i don't know like old days but when i was growing up you know and then in the 90s you play all the sports yeah now it became such a business that guys focus on football and that's all they play. And they say, although they're specialized in football, they make them 
maybe there's a debate that says they're less athlete athletic because they're mm. not playing wrestling and football and baseball in the summer, applying all different muscles and, and, and use of the arm and blocking and all this running versus long distance running because a lot of times cross track track and field and stuff and cross country. Yeah. Now they get honed in to like I'm gonna go pro in football. So like, you know, anywhere from junior high they'll focus only on football. Wow. And they're thinking now that that could create it's a debate, you know, obviously everything's mm -hmm. a debate, opinion, but and it sounds like that same way there. You get oh, yeah. into the ruts. That's interesting because like you know when you meet a professional athlete and they're kinda good at everything. Yeah. And like really competitive. Yeah. Like I can't remember where I was, but it was like I don't know around some Seahawks or some some pros, and they were there was like a tennis ball or something that they were just kicking and hitting and it's like a kid game that you'd make up on the spot. Yeah, yeah. But all these guys were really good at it. Yeah. I mean, and they were just they were just making it up right then. But I think that's it. I think I think athletes are just if you're really good at one thing, you're really good at all. But but I think if you focus like that you would lose yeah and the, yeah. i think that's what their that argument is and it kind of goes yeah. back to the to the mu musicianship that you've learned through all the different you know tools that you've picked up and, and apply them across the board i find that interesting when someone's a really strong piano player right but they also play guitar maybe their main gig is guitar but they grew up uh playing piano and right. it, it, it i feel and that's just my interpretation that sometimes their melodic sense is a lot stronger oh yeah because the piano is such an instrument like that and both hands are a lot more copacetic in how they can both work whereas like a guitar player you get used to one hand being a fretting hand and the yeah. other one's the rhythm right i think that's why van halen was such an amazing musician because yeah. he started on drums and like you know that's that's where people go wrong in trying to cop van halen it's so hard to get his timing because he's got this great kind of swing to stuff you know yeah, that uh, could be the same. Not, not again. Not putting in the same category, but Dave Grohl. Right. Oh, yeah. A great, you know, rhythm guitar player, and in yeah. his backbone of guitar comes obviously from playing drums. Oh, yeah. All those years playing drums. Right. And the same rhythm of that. Yeah, yeah. Like the weird, yeah. Some of those weird patterns are so rhythmic. Yeah. It is like a drummer. I didn't think about that. Yeah, because like a lot of what because you know they have three patch smear and then they have shifty yeah. doing a lot of lead work. So. Dave, for the most part, I'm sure recordings is different, but yeah, mm. and his background's drumming. The guy we just did a rig rundown with, Donnie Benet, yeah. he, he grew up playing I mean, piano. I love but like he's so, and he also was classically trained on double bass, but he, I feel like when people spend a lot of time with different instruments, it really unlocks a lot of doors. If not, like what you're saying, something you notice mechanically, at least creatively. Oh yeah, absolutely. And... And for work, I mean, I know I get so much more work because, you know, because there's different, you know, different instruments. Yeah. You know? That's, if, if you need one guy to do an okay job on a lot of stuff. <laughs> You're the guy I would call to get a record done on the cheap because yeah. I like guitar, oh, yeah. bass. Oh man, yeah, I'm doing, claps. I'm doing a session on, uh, <laughs> on Saturday and I'm like, what do you want me to bring? He said, uh, everything. <laughs> You never know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's it's fun. I, I and I really like that slot on tour being the multi instrument analyst because you never you never get bored. It's, I bet it's always exciting. Yeah, and you got to shift, you know, really quick. It's like okay, what am I? I mean, okay, I'm I'm uh, I'm in fifths right now. <laughs> Do you okay? So I you know the title is provocative and in a very uh, you know direct way, but. Do you play an instrument every day? Oh, yeah. Yeah, some type of yeah. musicianship, practice, whatever Oh, it is. yeah, yeah, yeah. In, unless, I mean, if I'm, in, if I'm, you know, on a family vacation, I don't have anything. Yeah. But, yeah, if there's some around, I mean, I look around, I mean, I, I, I got, I've got instruments hidden, like, like an alcoholic hides bottles, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I've, got, I've got, I've got instruments in every room. There are instruments. It's yeah. funny because I, uh, the rig rundown that's coming out next week, so who knows when this is, but it's uh, with Paige Hamilton from Helmet. Yeah. And he's been playing guitar for a really long time. And it's it, it just struck me to ask him. I've never really asked it that many times on a rig rundown, but he gave a really good answer towards the end of the interview. I was like, you've been playing guitar for 40 years. He's done film work. Wow. Uh, like, he, he helped do some soundtrack work for Heat, that movie with Al Pacino cool. and Rapid and Nero. Uh, he went on tour with David Bowie, I think in the late 90s, early 2000s. Yeah. So he's done a lot of work, and sure. guitar has facilitated all these great things in his life. I said, 
at the end of the interview, I was like, what do you still enjoy about playing guitar? Why do you still play guitar? And he's like, Oh uh, God, I, 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 I would not, uh, I could not live, I could not exist. I, I wouldn't have, I, 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 everything. Like I wake up, this is the first time I've touched a guitar all day because I went to, you know, their uh, third man's putting out our vinyl. So I went to meet those cats and um, really, it was really exciting. And then we're doing this. And so I finally got to play a guitar. Every morning I wake up, it's the first thing I do. They ask these guys, I'm in the back lounge of the bus and been doing lessons from the back lounge of the bus on Zoom and stuff. And uh, I just, the, I, the guitar, it's about music. But there's a, a friend of mine who's an art history professor at a university in Portland said, sent me a study that uh, guitar players' brains are different than, uh, than everybody else, but e even other musicians. There's something that we're addicted to that we can, cannot exist without it. And I know this to be true because I'm a miserable you know, asshole if I don't play guitar for, like if I you know, go to a family thing and I didn't, didn't bring a guitar, I'm a, and my family's like, you are, you know, I'm just like, I just, I just have to play the guitar. <laughs> they send you down the street to a guitar center quick. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's an incredible instrument. We're still, we're still breaking new ground. I mean, I, I'm, I do things when, if you heard all these movies I played on, they're, it's unrecognizable as a guitar or I can strum my callings in the living room or play a jazz. I'm doing, I just told you a jazz album next year with, for MPS records. Um, you can do ev anything with the guitar. You know, we can, I can try to get saxophone sounds and, you know, and, you know, or, or guitaristic things. And it's just, it's just an incredible instrument, man. I just love it. I feel well, super lucky. Thank like, you for like it, it seems to be some sort of release almost in a, a, a oh, therapeutic yeah. way that, Oh, totally. That people that yourself, I would put in there, Paige Hamilton, people that probably watch this that almost feel that itch to play every day because it's, it's soothing rather oh, yeah. than like a mechanical thing where you're wanting to like, well, I should play a guitar today. I should practice. Right, it's, right. It's more of, it's who you are. Yeah. Or who you become. Well, like we were talking about in the, uh, in the, the notes the, uh, uh, the other day. Yeah. Uh, we were saying it kind of came up. The fact that, you know, we can't, we, we can't really control our thoughts. Just thoughts are popping into yeah. our head all the time. We got an antenna. Yeah, yeah. But when you when you focus your, when you when you are forced to focus on something and cut out all of that noise, it's it is therapy. It, yeah. It is it it's it's meditation. It's it it kind of I don't know. It's like I say. It just kind of calms a savage soul. You know? Yeah. Huh? It's funny, and that's getting. Like harder and harder in a way that you know meditation might not direct meditation in terms of how you know concentrating your breathing and counting and that thing yeah might not obtain that serenity anymore so it's, yeah. it's getting harder in the more claustrophobic you know chaotic world we live in with the screens and stuff right yeah well and, and that's it like 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 in 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 meditation or yoga they're always saying go back to your breath that's because our brain, something's going to be in there. And if you're not thinking of your breath, yeah. then you're thinking about taxes or that cab driver was so rude or yeah, whatever, yeah. whatever it is, is going to be in there instead of, you know, instead of just being present. So yeah, I think, I think playing music is one of those things that does make me present. It does make me a, a much happier, healthier, better person. And the more instruments I find, the more, present I am because when you when you kind of get into the whole guitar pattern thing your brain will go to all those things yeah you're not really there yeah and again then that's in the floodgates again the yeah floodgates, the floodgates of, of anxiety yeah whatever it is yeah. well I'll leave you on this I'm curious and maybe other the viewers are what's your favorite instrument aside from the guitar uh, probably pedal steel. Okay. I, yeah, I, I love I love playing pedal steel. You love sol solving that riddle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I just I don't know. It's just a it's just such a beautiful instrument, and there's and there's all these surprises because you've got you got four pedals and five knee levers and all these crazy strings. And, yeah. You know, and then you know, and then your bar and everything else, and it man, it's. It is uh, a lot of options. <laughs> well, I uh, hope everyone enjoyed it. I enjoyed your time, John. Thanks, buddy. See ya. Great seeing y'all.